No. He does nice. <laughs> Can you please be serious? It's homeschool room setup time. Mm -hmm. Homeschool classroom. Homeschool room classroom setup. It's basically a remodel. This is our eighth year of doing our homeschool room, and it's part of our breakdown of one year and build up of the next year. Like a tradition. So we didn't plan on doing this much this time around. No. But because of the way 2020 was set up, it turns out we are probably going to be home a lot more than we had anticipated. Mm -hmm. We had um, our live and learn tour uh, planned for this year that all kind of came crumbling down. Fashion. Yeah, but that's okay because we have learned how to be content wherever we are and flexible and we've just been given like time and space to figure out how we're going to do the live and learn tour creatively mm -hmm. so um just to kind of spice things up a bit we decided to put a lot more effort and energy into our homeschool room so we thought we would walk you through the process of breaking down our current school room and building it back up again. And this guy was a major part of it because he handles all the foundational things. The heavy lifting? Yeah. The hard work? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I work hard, okay? what my living room looks like. Book City. <laughs> and this, I'm gonna show you the color. Babe, what, what is that color? Someone help. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, babe. I'm struggling because I don't know what to do with the rest of these walls. I am a little emotional about this chalk wall being gone. <laughs> but I have to move forward in life. <laughs> this is what we have over here, and this is what he's getting ready to put over here. Okay, so we're gonna put that color on that wall and move along. This was the beginning of my homeschool journey. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, there it goes. A lot of emotions. Oh, there it goes. Okay, guys, there goes my chalk wall. You are a ham. You got the pencil in the ear. You said Kendra got a pencil. He know what he's doing. He got his pencil in his ear. <laughs> So first of all, we had to address cleaning things out and decluttering a bit. After eight years of homeschool life, there were tons of holes, pinholes in the walls, um, lots hand of prints. handprints all they over. Wrote on the wall. Our paint job, yes. Um, our flooring, like he said, was the worst. Um, so that needed to be addressed as well. So he handled all the foundational things. I feel like the cleaning slash decluttering part is a lot a lot um i kind of sort of feel like i am somewhat of a minimalist homeschool mom however it turns out i don't think i'm so minimalist at all she likes to think that because she <laughs> organized it really well into these she likes to get bins and stuff so it looks very very all put together well and kept. it's it's well kept but it's a lot of stuff when you take it out all it, well bins. okay wait a minute to my defense it's not that much 
stuff. It's just that we keep a lot more stuff because it has to do with how we are building it's our business. It's a lot of stuff. Listen, of stuff. okay, so we are a homeschool family. We've been homeschooling for eight years. It's also a major part being creative with our business, with uh, photography. We are going to be opening our shop back up soon, so we have a lot of um, homeschool type It's okay. Props. You just have a lot of stuff with you. Okay, well. You keep a lot of things. I try to keep it minimal. It does spark joy. I keep the things that spark joy. <laughs> All of the things. <laughs> anyway. We're into day two. <laughs> it's day two and it's time to plan and organize is the goal right now. Got quite a bit of things all set up. Um, all of our basic spaces and I'm just gonna kind of walk you through kind of my thought process and exactly how I set up the different areas. Um, and then I have to get to putting things away. Um, in general, I already set up what I was looking to group different areas into so like my books are all laid out on the dining room table but they are in order already so I should just be able to take them and move them straight from the table into the spaces on the shelves so I'm hoping that goes smoothly and then I can just focus on figuring out the smaller things um, putting the things that I had already grouped into um, sections like art supplies and science supplies and just putting them into the bins. I like to lay out all of my like organizing bins and things like that um, empty so that I can kind of reimagine where I'd like to put stuff and how it be most functional. Right now I'm looking for major functionality because I want the kids to be able to move around in this space and just kind of know where everything is and be able to pull from everything. Um, so I just wanted this space to serve them better. That's the goal this year. Since we are more of unschoolers, I just want them to have less and less of my hands in things. So I wanted the homeschool space or the discovery lab or whatever we want to call it. Um, I want to make sure that it's nice and functional. You see what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so um, I need to stop procrastinating and get to it. I absolutely love the rug it makes me all kinds of happy inside and this is the area for my sofa and this over here will go another sofa which they are both sleepers so they should serve double duty in that whenever we have movie nights and things like that we can do that in here so i'm very excited about that this space is going to be our chalk wall still um but we are going to be painting right over top of this color so we're just kind of doing that um the tinted chalkboard paint and I will lay out all the information probably in a blog post but um, as soon as that comes in we're going to paint that over top of this wall and then I also want to get um, one of those wires to go across the top so that we can hang curtain for theater times that's gonna be so much fun but anyway I have our bookshelves all in place We've got our front facing shelves here. Um, Brian just put up this top shelf here which will be nice for some extra like display storage. And then we move these from out in the office space to put here. Um, I was gonna lay maps out here but I decided not to do that. Um, and instead just keep it kind of minimal and just a spot where we can just write little messages and then also hang um, pictures or things like that from there. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I may end up putting the TV normally goes here because it is less noticeable um, but I might actually end up putting it up here so we shall see and then we have this wall over here of which I'm not exactly sure what to do with um, in all of our maps here so I don't know uh, I think I might end up just rolling these up 
and getting like one of those umbrella stands to just kind of sit in the corner and then we'll just be able to pull these out and scratch them off and roll them up and put them back so that's what's going on there but it's looking good so far and then i also have to figure out where we are going to put our um lights because that's a very special part of our space i really like as well um, that even though these two pieces are here, this more than likely will stay here, but this one I should be able to move around a bit. So I should be able to move this out and I can even put it this way here if I want to create a little nook over here for something or I can move it over here um, and move the sofa out once it comes or I can move the sofas, the two sofas together and put them back to back to make like a movie type of theme. I don't know, but I like that while everything is in its place, I can consider all the possibilities for being as creative as possible in our homeschool and life because that's the way we like things to be. <laughs> but we still have our circle table over here, which I need to clean off and um, the chairs that will go around it for them to still be able to sit at their table and get any type of work done that they want to get done there. So this is what she's looking like. And now I just need to get to everything that is currently in my dining room and start putting it away. So yeah, that's what we doing. <laughs> so I have all of my art supplies laid out here and I'm just going to put them inside of these bins and boxes. Just need to get everything put away. So that's what we're gonna do. So change of plans. We couldn't put it over there because it is above the fireplace and it'd be a little bit more difficult. And I think it's gonna work out because I think it'll look nice right above the bookshelf. So we're gonna do that instead. So once we work our way through our homeschool space, then we're gonna move on to our homeschool studio space, which is how we are going to be building our business from the ground up again. In order to uh, learn, of course, and then also to take steps towards funding our film. We're producing our first film, we're writing our first film, education. and it's gonna be centered around education. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the curriculum pieces and a lot of the resources that I would have passed along, I've held on to in order for me to be able to build up our patreon space and then also um do research for our film that's that's the truth that's the story you're going with to keep <laughs> all your stuff i'm trying to be more hands-on helping turn out with patreon which is our space where you can support all the hard work she puts into these films so setting up our homeschool spaces are it's a lot of work for me but it's the time where i can just really think things through and organize my thoughts on how we want to move forward in the year growing closer and closer towards this dream of having this family who lives and learns together and fulfills our purpose together and taking all of the steps one at a time in order to get closer to um, what the goal is is what i want this these spaces to facilitate yeah. i guess basically just a community-based space where i can share about homeschool and life and um it's really been a blessing because it's a way that you guys can support mm -hmm. what we're doing as we are homeschooling first um, putting our family first and then um researching all the things about what a true education really means. It'll just give us a way to build this business and give back the things that we're learning um, mm -hmm. to one another, like a functioning unit, I guess. No? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is how I plan the space. Basically just pull up a new document in my pages app. I take screenshots of everything that I'm putting in the room. So here is the big bookcase and this is the smaller one. These are my shelves above it. This is the wall color. This is my shelf that I have yet to get. Um, wall color over here. This is the kitchen space. There's my rug. 
I have yet to get the coffee table that belongs in the middle. I also haven't gotten the sofas yet because they are taking a bit longer for them to get here, but that's okay. I'm working on these storage bins, filling those up. I still have to head to Ikea and pick up these storage bins and also these few pieces there. Um, I like to have basically an itemized list of the things that I want in the space and then I work on getting them little bit by little bit until I have them all. So that's basically what I've done. We just got that rug in today. Love it. So I'm looking forward to getting the uh, sectional, or not the sectional, but the futons because I think they'll be a nice addition. We'll get to have little movie times in here and um, lay it out flat and have little sleepovers in our space. So now I just have to kind of um, map out what I'm going to do with lighting in here. I haven't done that yet, but this is basically how I try and reimagine the space. I'm trying to stay very still so you can still see what I'm doing, but I just select anything that I'm considering. I was going between this one here, this um, futon here, and this there. This was the other sofa that I was going between, but then I decided that it was much better considering the space to go for the darker color. So that's what we did. I just go between each of these pieces and have a little spreadsheet of how much each one cost and um, budgeting, collecting them over some time. I still have this one left to get, this one left to get. That's basically how I map things out, plan them out is grab a whole bunch of screenshots from the websites <laughs> and put how much they cost and prioritize them um, until I have all my pieces and try to imagine them in the space. And this is actually um, looking very much so like what I was expecting. So there's still a couple of corners that aren't accounted for, but this is the overall feel of the room and I think we're headed in the right direction. So. Yeah. No, I, I give her a hard time about about the rooms every year, but I, I usually am excited to see what new changes she makes and how it turns out. So every year she's done something. One year you did a tent. Oh yeah, you guys, you who, who has been here long enough? Let us know in the comments below if you've been here long enough to <laughs> remember. What was that, four or five years tent. ago? That, it, yeah. Yeah, that was fine. Every year it, we, we she tweaks something. It's not always major, but she tweaks something. So it's interesting to see how the kids like it and how... Yeah. Uh, how it functions. Homeschool spaces are really special. Um, I think in the beginning a lot of times it, it can be whatever you imagine it to be and you have to have patience with it because when you start off you just have a few things and that's okay because that's part of the journey. I never want anybody to feel I hesitated about showcasing our homeschool space and the things that we have because this is eight years of gathering, collecting. Yeah, yeah gathering mm -hmm. is a better word. Um, eight years of gathering things. We start off with um, a stack of read alouds and a few letters and some primary colored mm -hmm. paints. That's okay. Like that is the best place to start and learn about your family as a homeschooling unit. So I'm excited to show you guys these spaces in our house, but it's so much more than just our homeschool because we have been building our homeschool, our life, our businesses around what matters most mm -hmm. to us. So yeah, this is our homeschool room, classroom, discovery lab setup. <laughs> is this part one? It's part one. It's only part one. It's we're, part we're one. Not, we're not done yet. We yeah. have we have a little ways to go, but we we made some good progress. Yeah, so. and we are going to be hopefully um, sharing some bits and pieces on Instagram. Brian has been doing an exceptional job helping me manage um, our mm -hmm. Instagram space. So thank you for helping me out there. No problem. We're doing like <laughs> a, a takeover. Fun fact: Brian actually helps me in my real life manage my real life relationships because yeah. it is. She's know, getting better. Though. I am. I Keeping am getting in touch better. Touch is just a. It's a struggle I don't necessarily understand, but you know she's getting better. I know he covers my weak areas mm -hmm. and he helps me to do better with managing my relationships mm -hmm. because it can feel really overwhelming. But anyway, that's probably for another video. Mm -hmm. Um, but he is, has been 100% jumping into being in our Instagram space. So maybe he'll get a lot of behind the scenes of the process because filming the process and actually handling the process 
is really quite yeah. challenging and then trying to throw Instagram like behind the scenes stories mm -hmm. on top of that is hard for me so he's been great kind of following me around and getting a few behind the scenes of my frustrating times mm -hmm. and <laughs> even the good times in between so. okay so now we're gonna move on to the time lapse of me trying to put all of these things away are done and I think I'm pretty much done for now I need a break I am tired I am hot and um, I can't really do too much else like I want to right now because my um, food times haven't come in yet so I'm gonna pick this back up once they come in and once the paint for the chalk wall comes in because our chalk wall of course has to make a comeback so for right now, I'm just very happy with what I've gotten done so far, and I think it looks really good. I actually do have to figure out where all my globes and my maps are gonna go. Um, I thought I had one thing planned for them, and it's turning out that I'm probably gonna have to do something a little different. So this is something I have to figure out where that goes. I still have plenty of stuff. Um, I just love this rug. Basically all of this that I still have to find a home for all of these over here are things that I'm going to be giving away and I have a little bit here and a lot of stuff over here these are like homeschool records that I need to work my way through as well but for now I need a break this is where you guys have been um, and just have a few things around that corner there so we're making progress because everything was everywhere before Basically, in this video we have handled the the initial cleanup, um, the initial decluttering. I've moved things around, We've enlisted our family members because Nana and Papa are always game for helping us do yeah. all the things. <laughs> so my dad and I did the floor. We had to patch up all the walls, paint it. So we're still getting used to the the, the paint color. Friends. But that's a whole different thing. Yeah. We don't have to talk about that. Okay. Right now. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it now. Um, so yeah. we handled all of the basics, all the foundational things are done, and now he gets to pass over the baton, and I get to handle all of the organizing. Take a nap. And what? My part's done. <laughs> I'm done. So now he hands it over to me so I can handle all the organizing and dreaming up the different spaces, basically making all things magical mm -hmm. is what we're doing. So hopefully you will join us for part two of our homeschool room classroom makeover <laughs> so we're just having fun doing this thing together mm -hmm. because life is so very full of lessons so we live Living and, and learning. learn don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe, subscribe.